Hey friend, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna warm up for a run together. We're only gonna be here about five minutes. It's gonna be quick. It's gonna be something you can take with you whether you're outside or whether you're at the treadmill. Won't take up very much space. We're not getting on the ground. Yeah, all that good stuff, let's go. I'm gonna use my chair, but you can hang on to something. We're gonna start swinging one leg across the body and open. Think about keeping your pelvis stable here, letting the legs swing around you. I'm thinking about not letting it take this hip that way with it, yeah? You can keep your knees nice and soft. Maybe you plant your supporting foot into the ground, get a little taller. Maybe you flex through your swinging leg, make it feel a little more active. Nice, and then you can let it go. We're here for three, and two, and one. Excellent, switch sides. I'm gonna switch my chair too, you don't have to do that. <laughs> swinging across, swinging open. If this is the end of a long day for you, or maybe you're just waking up, this is also time to check in on what's going on inside your body. Do you feel tight? Do you feel loose? Do you feel energized? Do you feel fatigued? Okay, we're here for three and two. And one, excellent, shake it out. I'm gonna put my chair back. We're gonna start on some shoulders. Bring them up, back, and down. Now try not to like hold and grip on this. Try to just let them go. We want those shoulders to sit nice and soft while we're running, away from our ears, but not jammed down, right? So loosen them up. What's going on in your shoulders today? And if you're ready, we'll switch directions up and around. <sighs> Take some deep breaths into the rib cage while we're here. Into the belly, into the back pockets. Excellent, my friends. Ooh, now let's practice how our arms are gonna move while we run. Grab your two bags of chips, don't crush them, and we're gonna swing them on those parallel train tracks, kind of like an elliptical feeling right next to us, not crossing the body. Swing and free. See if there's anything left in your neck or your shoulders that you need to roll out. Any more tension you need to get rid of. Excellent. Shake that. Cool. Now you can use the wall for this. We're going to kind of lean into something. So I'm going to use my chair here. I'm going to take my leg through a full circle. Actually, I'm going to show you on my chair, but then I'm going to use the wall. <laughs> We're going to bring our heel towards our glute. Heel to glute. I'm going to bring my knee up and in towards my chest, and then I'm going to tap my toe down underneath me. So see how I'm leaning into this? This is that same athletic forward lean I should get during my run, right? So I'm curling heel towards glute, driving that knee in, not losing that curl in my leg, tapping down. Heel in, keep that knee bent, bring it forward, tap it down. Heel in. This is a hard part. Keep it bent, keep it bent, keep it bent. Tap it down. Nice. Driving it in. And down. Let's go two more. This is mimicking the pattern our legs will make when we're running. So we're prepping our body to do that. And we're doing it with intention. Good. Other side. Heel in. Knee in. Place it down. Heel in. Knee in, place it down. You can even practice that midfoot ground strike if you want. Basically just imagine you're landing kind of on the ball of that foot, digging in to take off in your next run stride. Here we go, for three. Two, this left side is hard for me. Here we go, last one, in, in. And down. Good. Now I'm going to use the ledge of my chair. You can get on the ground for this if you want. But if you don't want to, you know, find a bench. We're going to bring foot up onto the chair, plant that heel. I'm going to step back into a lunge. I'm going to slide this front knee forward over my toes, keeping my heel down. What I'm focusing on here is dorsiflexion. Imagine I'm bringing those toes back and up towards my shins. Shin singular, <laughs> keeping that heel down, sliding forward into this, and backing off. Good, 
good, sliding forward into this. Backing off, good. You're gonna get deeper flexion on the floor, but I'm thinking if I'm going for a run outside, I'm not gonna wanna like sit down and lunge in the dirt. So you can do this from a bench too. I'll show you on the other side what it looks like from the floor, how's that? Nice, I'm going two more. Keeping that heel down, sending the knee forward. Woo! And last one. Excellent. I'm going to switch sides. Get that out of the way. Here's what this looks like from the ground. I'm taking a shorter stance lunge. Heel is down. Sliding knee forward over toes, forward over toes, forward over toes. And backing off. Thinking about keeping my hips square ish here. Yeah? Woo! All of my focus is on the flexion in that ankle and my foot pressing into the ground. Right. Now, if you want to get real fancy and you really want to focus on that ankle, you could do this barefoot. That's going to help. But again, I'm already buckled in for my run. I've only got five minutes. Why would I take my shoes off? Something is always better than nothing. Here we go. Last one. And back off. Let it go. I'm going to come back up to stand. I'm going to just bounce here for a second. I'm going to use this time. Keep your toes on the ground. Practice your heels dropping down, making contact with the floor. Maybe you use this time to do a few jumps. Practice the way your feet hit the floor. A little bit of stiffness in the body. Practicing a little bit of rebound. And if you want to get fancy, we go both feet knee, both feet knee. Think down. Down, 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 down. Good. Wherever you are, we're here for five and four. Soften your chest. Two, one, and let it go. All right. You ready to do this? Let's run, and I'll see you after for the cool down.